Dream Team, it's your white deal. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Dave Hughes opens the 2018 TV Week Logies. Uh, I don't know what Logies are. Y'all got to talk to me in the comment section. But I had somebody request this one. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. And this is the opening monologue, which is supposed to be like a roasting session. And I love roasting sessions. So, Dave, what we got? We fired up Australia. I am fired up. The Logies is here. It's taken a while. We're in July. It's normally in April, but we had to wait to Molly's speech to finish from last year, so... <laughs> that was an epic. But it's epic to be here. Who is loving the Gold Coast? How friendly are the locals? So friendly. Everyone's concerned for me walking down Cavill Avenue today and some guy said, Hughes, are you okay? You must have had a big night. You look terrible. <laughs> I'd had nine hours sleep. Uh, <laughs> And he said, what? I said, he said, I had nine hours sleep. <laughs> just met an asshole. <laughs> no, I'm feeling good. I've got to look at 60 years for the Logies. We've changed it up. And here we are at a new venue. It's, it's beautiful. I'm changing it up myself. Got a new haircut. Pretty happy with it. What do you reckon? <laughs> I like it. It's getting mixed reviews. Someone put a photo of me next to Alice from the Brady Bunch. And, uh... <laughs> It's a dead ringer, no doubt about it. Uh, no doubt I'm going grey. I'm happy about that. Some bloke said, Hughesy, I grew up watching you on TV. You got so grey, you're making me feel old. This guy was bald, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I tied it up the other day in a top knot, and someone said I look like uh, a bin liner bag tied up. So, um, no, I'm great. it's great to be here, and I'm pumped up, and you're a great crowd. Never forget that. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving Dave. We're only a minute and a half here, bro. I'm absolutely loving Dave right now. Stuff. It's good for you to all get here. You know, it's not easy, is it? No, it's expensive, apparently. Channel 7 thinks so. <laughs> apart from home and away, apart from home and away, there are all entourage come here in a maxi taxi. <laughs> True story. They said it was too expensive. Too expensive to get to the Gold Coast. I used to bloody holiday here when I was on the doll. <laughs> Too expensive. Sloshy. <laughs> Borrow some money off the cash cow, mate. Oh, my God. I need you here. Oh. Honestly. It's because they gave all their money to Barnaby Joyce's baby. <laughs> I'm not sure who Barnaby Joyce is. Y'all love me. Y'all help me out in the comment section on, straight, on, on people or terms. That I probably wouldn't know unless you're from Australia, unless you watch Australian stuff. He gets 150,000 bucks for his private education. Jesus! He can't come to the Logies. Jesus! No, it's great to be here. 150k? Maybe there's something else going on, I don't know. Good, good luck to them, all right? That was a great interview, wasn't it? The Barnaby Joyce interview on Sunday. It was a great one, yes. My favourite moment when he was changing the nappy and Vicky, his partner, said, he's surprisingly good at it. Is he Vicky? He's got four other kids. Uh, <laughs> he's done it before. Uh, <laughs> they say he don't have plenty of practice. What's surprising about it, him being able to change a nappy? Like, he got four other kids. He don't have plenty of practice in his life. He should be, he should be an expert at it at this point. Thank you. You got crowd, I'm pumped up. <laughs> I'm feeling good about myself, I am. Good on us. <laughs> people, you can't trust people though, yes? I haven't got a gold Logan nomination. I'm disappointed. I won't deny it. Actually, the voting has closed. It's closed, right? So no more voting. And if you vote on an Optus phone, apparently all your votes are going to SBS. So, uh... <laughs> Lee Lin Chin is making a last late run for the Olympia Awards. No, but people lie to you. They said they were going to vote for me. I don't think they did. This is an example. Walking to a comedy show I was doing in Melbourne. I think it was in March, all right? Walking to my theatre. Someone came up to me and said, I love you on TV. Can I get a photo? Tried to get a ticket to your show tonight, but I couldn't. I said, really? Because it's not sold out. <laughs> we'll go out and pay way for this shit right now. <laughs> she said, no. You need a ticket. I can get you a ticket. Here we give me the credit card. I got still, still seats open in the show. You can come to the show. I'm to watch Married at First Sight. 
What a juggernaut that show was. Unbelievable. It's like the moon landing every single night. <laughs> the amount of talk that generated. They're at the back of the room, I believe. There we go. Davina's there. Good on you. Yes, yes, Ryan. Yes, yes, Dean. They're there. It's all good. It's all good. I've never seen... I've seen small clips of Mary that first night in Australia. I don't think... I don't even know if we have an American version. I think so. I've never seen it. I've never seen a full episode or a full season. But I feel like that's something I could definitely get into and I could definitely uh, get binge because I absolutely love, like, Love Island, Temptation Island, Too Hot to Handle, uh, <laughs> The Challenge. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's so many shows, reality shows, that I absolutely love watching. Uh, so I feel like Married at First Sight could be one of them that I rock with. The amount of outrage about Davina cheating on her husband. They weren't married. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> unbelievable. That moral outrage should have gone to the bloody experts who put them together. <laughs> that was a good run, guys. <laughs> I want you guys to pair my socks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not easy finding love on the TV, is it? We found out bloody today. We had what? What's his name? And what's the name? Broke up. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I was angry. No, Sam and Tara broke up. That's coming off the back of Sophie Monk breaking up with a married guy. That's heartbreaking. He might go back to his wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sophie Monk is uh, um, was the host for uh, Love Island Australia, wasn't she? That's Sophie Monk, right? Uh, he says, coming off the back of Sophie Monk breaking up with a, with a married guy. It's heartbreaking. He might go back to his wife and kids. <laughs> it's, it's not easy, guys. I mean, I did a show called Usually We Have a Problem. Who saw that? A few of you. Enough of you to get it renewed. Thanks, Beverly. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I had my wife on that show and we had real problems. Now, we've been together 15 years. It's tough keeping the romance going. She won't focus during lovemaking. Very tough for me. The other night I was busting my best moves. And she said, oh, I haven't packed the school lunches. <laughs> I have to pack my own lunch right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. But back to the Gold Coast. What about, hey, what, the Commonwealth Games. How good was the Commonwealth Games? Yeah. Amazing. We won so much gold. It was fabulous. Absolutely. We were against some countries that I think weren't great at sport. Uh, <laughs> I saw one woman in gymnastics on the beam and I thought she's never seen timber before. Uh, <laughs> but the international athletes loved it, there's no doubt about it, didn't uh. they? Some of them loved it so much they're still here. Uh, <laughs> they'll be driving your Ubers home tonight. Uh, <clears throat> so be careful, <clears throat> Stefanovic. Uh, oh my god, I love this. Bro, I love Dave Hughes, bro. I, I don't know how I've never heard of him before. Uh, this this guy is hilarious. This guy is absolutely hilarious. Carl, remember all. <laughs> I like it. Whether it's a cab or an Uber, mate, leave a tip. Then they don't have to make any extra money selling the story to New Idea, all right? So leave a tip. That was, if you don't know the story, Carl. Hey, that's my boy Carl. I rock with Carl Heavy, mate. Carl, one of the funniest TV hosts, bro. Uh, absolute golden moments, bro. Golden moments. I missed that. What was that one? I missed it. Anyway, Carl was on loudspeaker in an Uber. And his brother... Anyway, whatever. The, the Uber driver... Carl, it's OK, all right? It's OK. All right, you should have been bitching about your work colleagues, all right? You shouldn't have. All right, and I'm sure Georgie's very happy, isn't she there? Still on the fence, <laughs> George, to take a pail off and hit him in the head with it. Uh, <laughs> imagine Carl and his brother at the bunk beds at home, yeah? As kids, just talking smack about mum. <laughs> I can hear you, dickhead! <laughs> anyway, Lisa Wilkinson's probably... Hey, so Carl got, taught, uh, got caught talking trash about his co-workers? Oh, that's tough. That I didn't know about that. That's tough. She left. <laughs> you left for pay parody, I know. You weren't getting pay parody, were you, Lisa? No. And you're not getting at the project either. <laughs> you're double. Uh...
<laughs> oh my god. Don't blame me for that joke. Blame Carrie and Waleed. <laughs> anyway, no, it's great to be here. I love Channel 10, they've had a great year. With the I'm a Celebrity, that was fantastic. Fiona Lachlan was a great winner of I'm a Celeb. Don't you, Fiona? And stiff competition from the likes of Bernie Tomic, though. He was unbelievable on that show. He said he was going to go on that show to change Australia's opinion of him so they wouldn't think he was a whinger and a quitter. He was there for two days and all he did was whinge, then he quit. <laughs> <laughs> tennis players quit, though. Tennis player quit in the semi final of the Australian Open I was watching on Channel 7. He quit against Roger Federer. And I thought, well, he must have a broken spine if he's going to quit a semi-final of Australian Open. Then I found out he had a blister. <laughs> he quit the semi of a bloody Grand Slam with a blister. Every woman in this room knows you don't quit with a blister, do you? You got high heels on tonight, you got a blister, you don't quit. You get a vodka cruise and you get back out there. <laughs> you don't quit. <clears throat> the MasterChef team haven't quit. They're bloody amazing. Manu hasn't turned up tonight. He probably had enough meals this year. <laughs> So he has to eat for two because buddy Pete Evans doesn't eat anything. <coughs> Seriously, massive teeth and he won't chew anything. Uh, <laughs> massive teeth and he won't chew anything. I love <coughs> cooking shows, I do. It gives me something to watch while I wait for my Uber Eats to turn up. So that's my food journey, watching that blue dog find my house. <laughs> That can make me angry. I'm looking for the blue dot. It's going the wrong way. I'm like, I'm over here, blue dot. And then the blue dot stops in the middle of nowhere. I think it's the blue dot eating my chips right now. Oh, my God. I just wasn't nominated this year for any awards, but George, Colin Barsh, you're still up for something because the current affair's got a nomination, so I really loved your... I love his George is a Neighbour from Hell edition where you built something in your backyard and your neighbour thought, what is that mystery box? Uh... For Tracy Grimshaw, thank you. Well, give it up for Tracy Grimshaw, guys. 30 years, nominated for gold. Good on you, Tracy. And also her Don Burke uh, uh, interview, that's been nominated as well. That was amazing. We got, a lot of, we got a lot of revelations from that. We got the revelation that Don apparently has uh, Asperger's. No one knew about that, including his doctor. Uh, <laughs> No, I love Don Burke. I was in this show. I was years ago. He rang me and he said, I want you to be my celebrity gardener. I said, great, bring the film crew around. Then I hung up and thought, I don't have a garden, I live in a flat. He turned up, he said, where's your garden? I just pointed to the fridge. I said, some shit growing in there, Don. Uh, I love Don. What about Amanda? Well, yeah, I'm... All right, I'm my, anyway. I don't love everything about him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now I've taken myself to Weird Zone. Uh, sorry. Amanda Keller from the living room. What a legend. Good luck. I know Barry. It's great to see Barry here with your health problems, mate. Good on you. You've been away a bit this year. The doctor, you were in the jungle. So it was just Amanda. Yes, yes, the two of you. Miguel, yes. Now he's had pressure too, because the Miguel has had pressure because the government is thinking about changing the rules for immigration, so that migrants have to be able to speak English. So, um, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Mine is the best way to go. Uh, now good on you, Miguel. You know I love you. You know I do. You don't. Now, well, so what about uh, Roger Corsa? Good on you, Roger. Good on you, mate. He's up for gold as well. Jessica Murray as well. And with the final nominee for gold, Andrew Winter. Where is Andrew Winter? Give it up for Andrew. There he is. Great to put a face to the name. <laughs> I, I don't really get that one. Let's do it. Y'all got a comment section. Once again, let me know. I'm not going to lie, Andrew. When I saw your name on the list, I said, who the hell is that? I have seen your show, and it's a very good show. Oh, yes, I have, yes. Absolutely, yes. And, and good on you for selling Houses Australia. Because I buy houses on TV myself. I bought a house on the block. None of you people have invested much in Australian TV as I have. 
Last year, Scotty, didn't I? I was there on auction day and I bought the house, Josh and Elisa's house. My wife did not know about it. She wasn't that happy about it. When I told her, she said, don't tell anyone. Uh, it's a bit late for that. It's been televised. Uh, <laughs> the front of the paper with Josh and Elise. Three million dollars I paid to get a hug off an Instagram model. So uh, <laughs> it was great to have the house, but then people know your business. That's bloody disappointing. I'm in the street waiting for a tram one day, and this dodgy bloke said, "Easy, waiting for a tram, are ya? Can't you afford petrol? Should have bought that house on TV." <laughs> I should have waited for financial advice on you, so um, you're definitely killing it. Uh, I had to rent it out. That wasn't easy, renting it out. I mean, it was a great house. Don't get me wrong, I love that house. But renting it out was stressful. The real estate agent rang me at one point and they said, we've got someone to move in. I said, great. They said, but they've got a dog. I said, so? They said, they want to put in a doggy door. I said, they can put in a meth lab if they want to. <laughs> Indeed, I want a bloody move and I don't care. I've got some yields. It's all about the yields. Oh, shout out uh, Dave Hughes, bro. That was my first time seeing it. And he was absolutely hilarious. So we got, you guys got a favorite video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it out the comment section. It's your boy, Dineer. Out.